Hey guys, James here back with another video. So today I've got two things. Um, it's pretty much the same thing. I just bought two of them. And this is, um, let's see, get the proper model. The MVH 500AH fluid video head and with the flat base. And it's the flat base version. So basically um, the reason I bought this um, and the reason why I bought a lot of my gear recently is because I had a wedding video that I want to do and I'm wanting to get into video videography. Um, and so I needed a fluid head. Um, so I've got a tripod and two monopods, which I bought. Uh, well, not two. I, I recently bought a new monopod that's um, that can stand by itself, a freestanding monopod. And I needed a video head. I, I went to the rehearsal and I found that a lot of my video was shaky and it wasn't... Um, yeah, I guess it wasn't very good, um, and so it wasn't very smooth. So I, I, I needed this, and also the tripod was a was a, with a photography head, so obviously not great either. Um, so yeah, I guess I decided to get this. Um, two of them, I got them from a store, Vanbar. Um, they sell they sell things pretty cheap, um, and I obviously I needed it straight away. Usually I would probably look to online, but because I wasn't sure about which one I would get. Now there's the M, there's like the X Pro. I can't remember the model, but it's a, it's a different model which uses the um, the CR2 uh, base clip thing. Uh, where is it? Um, uses this clip. So obviously, okay, this is the photography head which I was using beforehand. Um, and yeah, it uses this kind of clip. Um, so I was like, okay, I can use that. But um, it's, I found that well, according when I talked to the guy and I had a feel with it, this probably was a bit better. Now, instead of just me rambling on, let's just unbox it. Um, yeah, so I'll just do one. So obviously at the top you can see um, NVH500AH. The AH is the flat base, the A is the ball head. In case you're wondering, that's the difference between the two. 10.5 centimeters in height. 0.9 kilograms quick release it's the 500 long that's what it's called that's what the plate's called um, and it's al aluminium um, in thing and made in Italy Manfrotto is obviously a Italy Italian brand um, and this is a genuine product so opening this up you get first greeted with um, manual so I think you get a few other stuff with it as well so imagine more this is like general instructions and warranty so don't do this don't do that make sure it's not this make sure it's not that it's fine do's and don'ts this is the instruction manual on how to install it and use it which is handy I will probably look at that put that aside you get um, screws for different mounts uh, for different uh, I guess cameras tripods and whatever sliders that you want to stick onto this and um, yeah that's the uh, that's the thing for the plate you get the handle as well this is a pretty decent rubber handle you can see it's got the man I don't know if you can see that uh, Manfrotto logo and of course it's got um, this now I'll probably stick it on the right side um, so I will move that oh how do I do that hmm Oh, this is a bit confusing for me, um, but there's this rubber thing which I'll put aside and I guess I'll have to read the instructions on how to figure how to put this on. Then there's this cardboard thing which I'll take out, don't need that. And then we get the uh, head itself. Now obviously you're thinking, oh why is it so long, but because you need to stick the handle. Uh, that's why it's so tall. Um, let's put this aside. Is there anything else? It feels quite heavy. No, it's just all cardboard. It's very, very thick cardboard. I wonder how people come up with packaging for these things. Now I'm assuming they, they're probably, because there's a hole there, I'm assuming they use this packaging for both the AH and the A, so that's why they just stick the label. Um, so yeah, let's look at this. Um, before I put this on, let's just um, look at this head itself. So you can see this is the fluid drag system um, here. Now um, this is controlled by this, so obviously this is to unlock it. So you can see this is gonna move back. Now it does spring back, so that's really nice. 
um, so obviously you can change uh, well you can't really change the weight um, but yeah that does bring back and obviously this tilt this locks it you've got a little spirit level at the bottom if you can see that spirit level so that's handy to leveling things um, and of course you've got um, your kind of uh, panning now the panning isn't fluid head from what I know oh it is fluid yeah it's fluid drag system but it's not as great um, as some of the other models out there but it is it is good um, so can't complain now this side thing is like basically a quick release so um, if you pull this back it does release the lock and so that can feel free to slide forward and then once you're happy with that you can lock this into place and that and that's not going to go anywhere um, but yeah that's a quick kind of quick release on that take that out kind of fits in like that um, pretty much it that's the serial number made in Italy um, and then obviously this this lock has is that um, now let's try stick this on so let's put this back um, put that there let's learn how to stick this on uh, okay so you turn it around because I want it on the right hand side and then you screw it I'm assuming so put that there yeah that's better so it won't work the other way around I was trying to do it the other way around and that's pretty much it um, now you can yeah can you move this forward no you can't um, so it is stuck like this in terms of this handle position I thought that you could like, you know move this forward and backwards but turns out you can't so let's just quickly uh, stick this on my monopod um, so that's what I'll be using one of these um, yes this has the right thread so this has the um, I think it's quarter inch um, and this is also and then they have like the three three eighths I can't remember which is bigger I can't do math but yeah you get the point um basically yeah you might need to get adapter for your tripod if you're thinking of using it for your tripod um but that's that let's just screw this on um so pretty much two halves meet let's lock that in so i get a good grip okay and that's pretty much it um now what i'll probably do is because this has already a fluid drag system built in onto this I'll probably just use the base drag system so when I tilt I'm just tilt I'm moving the base and then when I do tilts I'll be you know using this tilt um, so yeah I'll be so in, just to give you kind of like a little uh, behind the scenes kind of uh, thing of how I'm doing it so this will probably this monopod will probably fit the um, the current uh, Ace, the Sony a6300 that I'm using right now um, and then the Nikon will sit onto um, another tripod this guy and with another fluid drag so the same head and that will basically uh, be my setup for the ceremony I have a second operator which is my sister she'll be on the tripod with the Nikon and basically just gives us fluid um, fluid pans fluid tilts um, which I think is great and I'm really happy um, with this product. Um, really smooth stuff, really liking it. Um, but yeah, I forgot something which I need to do. Let's just set this set this up. So let's just use my Nikon. So I'll put this aside. Let's grab my Nikon. Okay, um, now this obviously needs to fit onto the plate. So we need the appropriate screws read the instructions okay now this is pretty cool now in terms of balancing your weight you want the center of gravity to be in the middle um, so that's pretty important center of gravity goes in the middle um, but let's just use the right thread so this is the standard tripod thread I'm going to stick it at the bottom of the base and then I use this rubber guy to block it um, so that you know that obviously doesn't come out now let's see if that will fit in yep so that's cool so now that's not going to come out now let me give you a tip 
If you ever want to screw this, never use a screwdriver, all right? These are like major tips. Use a coin. So in Australia, use a 10 cent coin. 10 cents coins are amazing. They basically are the same thickness. Um, well, pretty much. Well, you can use a 20 cent actually for this, but it doesn't matter. Basically, it has more of a flat edge on it so that it can turn. If you use a screwdriver, screwdriver flat head is quite thin at the end and so it actually damages this as well as the screwdriver. So, what you do is you tighten it using a 10 cent coin. 10 cents is cheap, it's not expensive, screwdriver costs more. And you can get these really tight without the coin bending or without, you know, because I was, I was using like screwdrivers to like mount this and it was just terrible because I, it would always, you know, break. Um, so that's fit onto there, that's pretty nice. Um, and that's pretty much it, you can see there. Um, that's now fit onto that. Now, um, and you gotta make sure that you screw it so that it's locked into place. You don't want it flying around. Um, so that's that. Now quickly, um, something which I didn't mention beforehand is um, this accessory mount. So this allows you to attach, you know, like a small HD and that Atomos Shogun. Shogun. Um, and the handle can be moved to this side as well. So, yeah, I mean, there's quite a bit to this product um, and there's quite a, use, a lot of uses for it. You can use it for photography, but obviously it's meant for video, so take that into account. Um, but yeah, pretty happy with this product. Um, very simple, very high quality Manfrotto stuff. I love Manfrotto stuff. Um, always would recommend. Um, and yeah, really happy with it. So I hope you liked this video. Like it if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or any comments about this particular um, fluid head or any other fluid heads. And if I can, I'll try and answer those questions for that you have. And um, yes, if you want to pick one up, please use the affiliate link um, below or you can go to Vamba and say that JC Unboxing sent you there. Um, and yeah, hope you liked this video. Subscribe to see more videos and I'll see you guys in the next one.